The Z1 from B-Side in the spotlight today, in the cheapo spotlight, the cheapo pen meter spotlight. Is there such a thing? Oh, who cares? New design from B-Side, brand new for 2023. Oh yeah. They always give you your funky little kind of brownie beige box. It's okay, nothing too, uh, you know, alluring, let's put it that way. Gives us the basics. Dual mode detector and multimeter. Um, B-side Z1. Now, one of the weird things is they're calling NCV VELT, non-contact voltage inducting. And that turns into VELT somehow. So that's supposed to be NCV. Anyway, that's all you need to know. Um, Pretty decent little machine uh, instrument. It does, you know, a couple of things, I think, fairly well. Is it worth your hard earned 15, 20 bucks? Well, let's find out. Comes with the two AAA batteries that go inside the housing like so. Now, one thing I really appreciate what B-Side did is they made it explicitly clear how to put the batteries in. They show you the direction. They show you um, exactly how to put them in in the directions uh, here. And you actually have a a Phillips screw way down in there and they've provided, thank God, a little screwdriver, a little tiny Phillips that will do the job. Beauty! And you get one test probe, a black uh, Cat 3 500 volt 10 amp rated test probe. And as I mentioned, the instructions are actually pretty good, nice fold out. Uh, manual here but very verbose nice pictures gives you the gist of it um tells you all the specs and so let's face it you know it's a smart meter but it does have a manual override which is nice and i know smart meters for a lot of people including myself you know they're not that smart all the time but at least this one gives you the um, option to go manual so smart mode is an ac dc um volts as well as resistance and you do have a manual override for all of them. Excellente. Um, volts up to 500 volts ACDC. Basically, uh, you know, nothing to write home about, but at the end of the day, it's a simple test pen uh, slash multimeter basic multimeter which is all it really in terms of wants ergonomics to be. i think b-side really excelled when it comes to the z1 um compared to some of these other ones it's a little bit thinner a little bit thinner and i think the display is actually uh, nicer look at the font on that look at that font it's 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 kind of a more modern style font and it's really easy on the eyes and check out that backlight that is a gorgeous luminescent green uh, Chernobyl style backlight. I gotta love it, I gotta love it. So, uh, you know, you look at that reverse EBTN display, you tell me which is easier on the eyes. Of course it's this one. Good job, B-side. Something else I like too is the fact that uh, control wise, it's really basic. You have your on off, you have your NCV mode and you have your basic uh, test measurement mode. That's it, three simple buttons, no sliders. I find sliders on these small devices can be a little cumbersome, just overall generally easy to operate. And besides letting you know, cat to 600 volts, there you go. When you enable the backlight, you also enable the flashlight. You can't have one without the other. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's necessarily a really bad thing. And that little tip here, yeah, that does come off as well. Ooh, groovy. Oh, that's pointy. Yeah. So generally speaking, uh, you know, first looks, hey, this is a sweet little package. Easily can go in your pocket, in your mother-in-law's purse, you name it, it'll go there. But I wouldn't recommend the mother-in-law's purse. And because of its unique design, it's not gonna roll off the table or into your mother-in-law's bowl of borscht. Thank God. Turning the meter on for the first time, just give it a little pressy. And after about a second or so, it boots up into that really nice display and we are in auto mode. Now I'm gonna enable that backlight again. And let's start off here with a, a DC reference test. Five and 10 volts, respectively. Start off with the five volts. And let's see what the doctor ordered. Oh, my God, look at that. No, you can't see. Let me, let me just, give me a minute here. 
4.99 volts. Oh yeah. When this is a 10 volt, these are all designed, engineered by Fred Chu. Check out the link in the description. Some of the best voltage references standards uh, you're gonna find out there. All right, 10.00 is what we wanna see. And oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's on the fence, 9.99 .99 to 10, even Steven, definitely. Okay, we'll say 9.99 .99 volts, but man, is it close. Now we can easily get out of auto mode simply by hitting that select switch, like so. And now we are in manual mode. So I'm gonna put it to resistance. And there we are. So let's try a 100 ohm precision resistor. See what we get for a reading. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in that slot. Probably be a little bit better. It's a little awkward, apologize. Bear with me on this. Okay, so there we are. So it's, it's kind of going back and forth, but 95 ohm for a 100 ohm resistor. So that's a little off, a little off. Alrighty. All right, we're sitting here on the resistance decade box. Uh, only has a resistance output maximum of two mega ohm. So yeah, it doesn't go very high. Sitting at one mega ohm right now, and it's coming in about three counts short, just under one mega ohm. Let's try 100K. Not bad. Let's try 110K. Oh yeah, 1K. Not too shabby. So let's try smart mode as well. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be just as fast in smart mode. Here we go, sitting at, let's try 200K in smart mode. There we go, 220K. 222K. Let's try 300K. 700K, 740K, 744. So in smart mode, nonetheless, it's still fast to range. Awesome. Next up is AC volts. Here we go. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. And look at that, no bada bang, 122.4 volts. Now it's not true RMS, but nonetheless, uh, fairly accurate. And you know, for home, it's basically not really necessary. Um, but yeah, nice red uh, LED display coming up here, telling you that you are in the danger zone, so to speak. Um, very, very nice. Already continuity is next. Uh, we are in manual mode, not even, even try in a smart mode for continuity. So manual mode it is, continuity. There we have the little audible display. Stock test probe, three, two, one. Oh, it is incredibly slow, even in manual mode. Yeah, a good second delay. Oh, that's too bad. Let's try a probe master. Through the magic of YouTube, we now have a probe master. It's amazing. Okay, three, two, one. You know, there's maybe a couple tenths of a second quicker, but still have a delay. Yeah. Sixty-five point one decibels maximum output in continuity. To get to live wire mode, you have to go into manual mode. So hit our select, and there we are. Live wire it is. Ooh, let's check so if it's alive. With this unit, live wire mode, um, you only use the tip. Only use the tip. So here we are. And because my outlets have this anti-insertion protection it's pain in the butt okay let's try a different outlet ah all right there we go so live it is and then it stops cool next up we're going to try ncv mode also known as vault mode Vault, vault. Um, no, you're not going to break into safe with this. Um, hit the vault button. And if we want to put it into high sensitivity, click on it like so. Now it's in high sensitivity. Oh, yeah. And you can see it's definitely giving us a reading here. 
and I've, if I just put it into regular sensitivity, not a pinata, not a pinata. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I would probably keep this on high sensitivity if you're in the North American market. Now, still in high sensitivity mode, and I know there's wires right behind this wall. It's not finding them. So that's a disappointment. Now, it might be because this is designed for a 220 market, 220 volts that is. I, I'm not sure, but in 110, 120 volt uh, arena, it doesn't seem to be performing very well uh, in NCV mode. Ah, not when it comes to the walls, at least. That's too bad. Disappointing. And in the frequency department, no worries here, 60 hertz on the AC line. Tip comes off just like so, thanks to that one little Phillips screw, pulls right out of the housing, and there are the two Picel AAA batteries that are included. You know, I like those Picels, actually. They're not bad batteries. Much better than those uh, Durahels that I've been using in the past, so good job, Picel. And they've included a really nice uh, rubber membrane there, just so that battery is not sitting directly on the PCB. Nice little attention to detail, like it. Funny enough, when you take away that uh, battery enclosure, you're also exposing the PCB itself. And that's as far as we can go without me actually destroying this unit. So um, there you have it uh, in a nutshell, all SMD components. And uh, we have a couple of ICs way over there inside. Um, the battery well per se and opponents a couple of factory headers for programming um what else do we have speaker uh, that's the input the jack input for that negative jack and you know what look at the soldering on that that is really really well done and a couple more big solder blobs on that input jack header so really really nice attention to detail and as well, you can see it's a version 1.3. So they had a few revisions on this little puppy. Um, but in a nutshell, there you have it. Uh, I don't see anything that looks funky or out of whack. All those SMD components seem to be on there. Nice, small, compact uh, assembly. All right, let's put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Nice, small, compact uh, assembly. All right, let's put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the B-side, a Z1. Oh, I really, really wanted to like this little guy, but at the end of the day, I have a hard time recommending it. For me, the real downfall was that NCV, or as they say, the vault mode, whatever the heck that means, but um, it just was not sensitive enough. No, NCV is really important when it comes to a pocket style, pen style meter. And in this case, it was just a fail. A little too flaky um, and resistance as well. For some reason, I had good reading. Sometimes other times it was reading uh, lower than it should. So uh, resistance wasn't that great either. Now it was faster range in smart mode. I got to say it was a fast one in terms of ranging for one of these smart meters. Good stuff there. I do like the size, I like the ergonomics. I love that display, one of the best looking displays on any pen meter I've ever seen. And that backlight stays on permanently, which is a huge bonus. At the end of the day, if you're looking for a pen meter and you're not a big proponent of NCV, or at least you don't think you'll be using it that often, uh, hey, your mileage may vary, you might really like this meter. Um, if NCV is important for you, then pass this one by. The B-side Z1 gets a solid 2.5 out of five stars. Yeah, this was a little pen meter that almost could, and I sure wish it would. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.